this is your update for the week ending June 18. As the year winds down, you are all reminded to exercise your professional judgment. Professional judgment is based on your knowledge of curriculum expectations, context, evidence of learning, methods of instruction, assessment, and the standards that indicate success in student learning. Thus, your professional judgment is the cornerstone of evaluation and assessment. I'd like to say that our continuous advocacy, pushing at the round table for items that are important to you, items such as release time to complete end of year duties is paramount. We have been pushing and I'm confident that the board will be presenting some good news very soon. As we move into the next phase of our campaign, I'd like to say that ETT has been collaborating with other education locals to hold a press conference outside of Queens Park at 11 a.m. on Thursday, June 24th. Union presidents from a variety of education sectors will be speaking out against the hybrid model. Simultaneously, we are asking members like you to join in a Twitter storm to highlight the issues about the fractured learning model. We need you. We need to keep the pressure on and continue with our high participation. So we encourage you to connect with your friends, your family and colleagues. Visit our website at ett.ca and find out more and use the resources provided. Together, we can make a difference. Over 7,000 of you signed up the letter and sent it to the trustees. It is making a difference. In addition, beginning June 23rd, we have Say No to Hybrid Learning lawn signs and pamphlets for members to pick up for themselves and to hand out to their neighbors. Your executive officers will be connecting with you, connecting with the stewards, and connecting with those in their wards to arrange pickup locations for the lawn signs and pamphlets. This has been your update.